Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to apply a new thermal paste on your heat sink. So if your computer is overheating, and if you feel like the fan always go on a high speed when you try to play a game or do a work, and you can hear the fan always blowing at a very high speed, this buzzing noise, then more likely you need to apply a new thermal paste on your heat sink because the old thermal paste might have all dried up and causing the computer overheating. So some of the things that you need to have in hand for this, um, for this repair is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. You need to have the PH000, that is the size of the screwdriver, and also the PH1, which is the larger Phillips screwdriver. Okay, and definitely you need to have a new thermal paste to apply and the alcohol wipes to remove the old thermal paste. If you're not sure where to buy all the um, tools and the stuff that you need for this repair, check the link in the description below, direct you to eBay or Amazon where you can um, purchase the, uh, the tools and the parts. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is the Dell Inspiron 7760P98F. Okay, so I'm using the PH000 Phillips screwdriver right now. The three screws on the very top, it does not come off. The one in the middle and at the bottom, they do come off. The screw size are all the same, so it is okay for you to mix match the screws. All right, once you have removed all the screws, let's put them on the side. And the next step is to pry open the back cover. So what you want to do is just kind of separate the back cover away from the laptop. And just put the back cover here on the side. So we are going to apply a new thermal paste and remove the dry thermal, thermal paste. Okay, so the next step is to change your flathead screwdriver to a PH1, which is the larger Phillips screwdriver. The screws here, they do not come off. So when you twist it and you hear the little click and you just stop right there. Okay, once you have done all that, the next step is to simply lift up the heat sink. And you can see that the thermal paste is all dried up. What you can do is to get yourself an alcohol wipes. First, I like to wipe it down here. You may need more than one alcohol wipes. We'll see. This one here is a graphics card. That is your CPU. And do not forget to wipe down your heat sink as well. All right, once you have done all that, we can now 
throw the alcohol wipes away. We don't need them. And this is your new thermal paste. Be a little generous on the thermal paste. Do not just use a tiny grain of a rice size. I would say you got to be a bit generous on it. So as you can see, the original thermal paste, the dry thermal paste, was quite generous installed by the manufacturer. So I do not want anyone here that says, oh, I'm applying too much. Nothing is too much in my opinion. I mean, if it's too much, meaning that when you squeeze that heat sink onto the CPU or the graphics card and that thermal paste leak all the way out onto the motherboard, that is too much, okay? But if you feel like the amount that you apply onto that thermal paste, the new thermal paste you apply on and it squeeze out a little bit here on the CPU, it is fine, okay? Just want to point that out to you guys. Um, do not apply too little. That way it doesn't solve your problem. You will still get overheat. Press it a little bit while I'm holding it down. Have my screwdriver. I do not tighten all the screw one at a time. So what I'll do is I give it a couple twists. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put an even pressure on all sides rather than tightening the screw all at once where it would push the thermal paste to one side of the corner, if that makes sense, right? So you want to apply even pressure while you're tightening up the screw, meaning that if you tighten one side of the screw and work your way around it, what happened is that the thermal paste would get pushed down, right? Because not even pressure, but if you're holding it at even pressure, do it one round, the second round and tighten it up, that way it's much better. All right, once you have done that process, now we can close the back cover, align them in the right position, just press it down. They are kind of like a clip on, so when you press it down, you can hear that little click, click, click. That is normal, you're not breaking stuff. Just that the clicker is going back in. All right, now we're gonna put the screws back in. I'm using the PH000 screwdriver. And again, if you find the video is helpful, what I would happy for you to do for me, if you can click the like or smash the like button for me, I would be really appreciate you for doing that. Um, I need a lot of likes and from your support as well. To make this all happening um, if you have any computer questions comment below i do read your comment and i do answer any of the computer questions so write to me i read your comment um yeah and if you're not sure where to buy the tools and the parts from do not forget to check out the um, link in the description below to amazon or ebay i will definitely uh, point it out where you can buy the uh, the thermal pad under the, the thermal paste okay and this is my last screw and that should be it all right so thanks for watching do not forget to give me the like and if you haven't subscribed feel free to subscribe subscribe thanks now bye